Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In our last sessions, we discussed about structure, components, then architecture of database management system. Then we also discussed about complete information about relational model. So I have mentioned database management system playlist link in below description box. Now in this session, we will discuss about ER model. So let's see. In this session, we will discuss about ER model then components of ER model, entity and types of entity with example, attributes and types of attributes with example, and relations and types of relations with example. So let's see one by one. The first point is about ER model. So basically ER stands for entity relationship model. And this model is a high level model. See here, this model is used to represent the relationship between each and every elements that present in database. And uh, ER model shows or develop the design of database means how exactly your database will display in particular view format. And uh, this ER model is very is simple and easy to design. It's easy to view the data what exactly data present in your database. Now just see here this is one ER model. This is just one simple example that is school database. So here student and in student having the name, address, age, ID like this. So this is a student information database. So here this is your entity and these are the remaining four attributes. And this is called as ER model. So this is just one example. Like that you can represent or you can develop the ER model of railway reservation system, then uh, the organization database, then airline reservation system, hotel management system. So you can draw the ER diagram of this all real life examples or real life database management system. So this is all about ER model. Now see here the next point components of ER diagram. So ER model having basically three components, entity, attributes and relation. Entity divided into the two parts, weak entity and strong entity. Attributes have divided into the four parts, key attribute, composite attribute, multi-valued attribute and derived attribute. And relations again divided into the four parts, one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many. So we will discuss all these uh, models or all these components in detail. Next. The first component is entity. What exactly entity? So entity can represent any particular object or class or person or place etc. So this is called as one entity. An entity always represented by the rectangles. See here in this diagram. Here customer and loan. This is called as entity. It represents a particular object or particular information. So this is called as entity. So entity divided into the two types, strong entity and weak entity. So how to identify strong entity? The strong entity always having a primary key. This is the first point. And second point, strong entity is not dependent on others entity. So this is called a strong entity. Now see here in this particular example, the customer. Customer is a strong entity because customer having a primary key. See here, it has two attributes, customer ID and customer name. And customer ID represents the primary key. So this is your strong entity. On the opposite of this, that is weak entity. So weak entity is completely depend on strong entity. See here, customer borrows loan. So loan, it depend on the customer. Like loan is a weak entity. And this loan or weak entity does not have primary key. Here, it having the discriminator key, that is L name. This is called as partial discriminator key. Main primary key is customer ID, right? So loan is uh, divided from the customer entity. Right. So uh, the weak entity always represented by the double rectangle. So this is a concept of entity. Strong entity always having a primary key and weak entity depend on strong entity. It having the discriminator key. Next. Now the next is attributes and types of attributes. So what exactly attributes? Attributes describe the properties of entity. For example, see here. This student is an entity. And what are the different properties of student like student ID, student phone number, student age, student name. So this is called as attributes, right? And these attributes are represented by the eclipse. Like this circle is called as eclipse. 
so these all are the attributes now again attributes are divided into the four types let's see first the first one is a key attribute what is key attribute the key attribute is used to represent the primary key or main characteristics of the student see here in this diagram the student every student having the unique id or unique roll number right so this is your primary key and this is called as key attribute and remaining are the attributes and this is called as key attributes so key attributes are represented by the eclipse with underline in that particular text so this is called as key attribute key attributes means primary key next the next second type of attributes is composite attributes so composite attributes means there is a one main attribute and again this attribute divided into the sub attributes this is called as composite attributes see here uh, that is name name is your attribute right like student name and this name again divided into the three parts like first name middle name last name so this is called as composite attributes so composite attributes also represented by the ellipse so composite attributes means sub attributes next type is multi valued attribute so the name represent that multi valued means more than one value like see here in this diagram that is phone number student can have more than one phone number right so this is called as multi valued attribute means for this phone number attribute they having the multiple value of each student and this multi valued attributes are denoted by the double ofl so this is called as multi valued attribute the last one is derived attribute so derived attribute generally means it can be derived from the other attributes like see here for example the attribute age so person age change over the time right you can calculate age of the person according to their date of birth right so this is called as derived attributes means you can calculate age according the birth date of the particular person and this age or this derived attributes can be represented by the dashed ellipse right so this is called as derived attribute next the next component is relations and types of relations so basically relationship means a relationship is used to describe the relation between the entities see here in this example teacher teaches student right so teacher teaches a student so there is a particular relationship between teacher and student right so this is called as relationship and relationship shows by this diamond shape or rhombus shape right this is called as relation so let's see the first type the first type is one to one relationship so in one to one relationship there is only one instance of an entity on both left and right side L just take this example female married to male so this is a vice versa condition one female can marry to one male or one male can marry to one female right so this is called as one to one relationship and married to this diamond shape denotes the relationship next the next type is one to many relationship see here there is one instance on left side and multiple or more than one instance of an entity on right side that is one to many see here scientists can invent multiple inventions right but the inventions can done by only specific scientist right so scientist can invent multiple inventions this is called one to many relationship next is many to one relationship means more than one instance of an entity on left side and only one instance of an entity on right side just take this example student enroll to many course only one course like many student enroll only one course so this is a example of many to one relationship for example the course is database management system and there are multiple students those enroll to this particular course this is called as many to one relationship next last one is many to many relationship means more than one instance of an entity on left side and more than one instance of an entity on right side so employee is assigned to particular project means multiple employees is assigned to multiple projects so this is called as many to many relationship so here employee and project are the entities is assigned this diamond shape represent the relationship clear next so you should so understand about the er model and their components thank you